Right, okay, here we are, back in Junkyard Simulator. Right, let me start the... Oh my god, it's been so long since I've been here, I can't remember where I left off. Hold on a minute. Let me just catch up with myself. A is done, B is done. Uh, 87,000, okay. Right. Let me start getting some work done because I've got a lot to do in this episode and then I'll explain what I'm doing. So let me just get to the right place. Basically I... Hang on, my microphone's stuck around. But I think that's better. Uh, I basically have a plan of what I want to do and how I want to do it for the rest of the series, so... Right, first of all, I had two trains of thought. The first one was... Do I want to do areas C, D, E and F in the personal scrapyard all at once? And then I thought... No, I can't do that because I don't have the funds for it. So, what I was thinking was, it might not be a bad idea for the time being to clear one of the personal junkyard areas. Obviously in the last video we finished with the B. Uh, do a video where we go around and do scrap and get some money. Then go and do another personal area. Then get some more money and then do another area. And I'm wondering if we can do that with possibly area C and D. We might have enough money to be able to do E and F back to back. Why won't you pick that up? Because you're not happy. Okay. percent There we are, it's a hundred percent. Bit picky. I think that will, uh, well that's actually going to have to be the way forward because I'm not going to be able to do it any other way. I really don't have the finances to actually do all three at the same time. Why can I not pick this up? What is going on? This is not how I wanted to start the video. Got you a bugger. Hmm. Really? You really have to be shoved right up. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that will. Um, I think that will be the best bet, and the way forward will be to do that. Because until we pay off this loan, all the money at the personal scrapyard is just going to do that. It is going to go and pay off the loan. So it's not going to make any money for me whatsoever. Um, I can't think of any other way around it. Uh, it's a case of pick up scrap like these cars here um, find vehicles to do and uh, yeah we're going to have to do it that way the trouble is with the personal scrap yards is they take money to actually build I mean you get some good return back but uh, you really need some starting capital before you actually really go for that, which is why I said earlier um, at the beginning, which is why I was surprised that they put the personal scrapyards so close to uh, to the beginning of this game, to the start of it. Personally, I would have left it to a bit later, but it works. Now the next thing I want to know is if I can auto strip a car down. 
because I can't remember if I actually bought that perk yet. So we'll have to we'll have to have a look at that. I'm just going to nip over the other side of the bridge here and just go and grab these other two cars, and then we can get those in the baler. As you can see, after all these videos, my driving still hasn't improved. Oh, blimey. Yet, funny enough, I drive in Euro Truck Simulator rather good. Just not in this game. I get in there. Thank you. Oh, before I forget, I'd like to say a very, very big thank you to all the subscribers and the comments I've had on this. Um, and I'm stuck. Oops. Oh, blimey. What am I doing? Get up there. There we go. Yeah, a uh, very big thank you for that. Um, I do appreciate the uh, subscribers and the feedback. It's... Uh, very kind of you, which means uh, it says to me that I'm doing something right at least. So, uh, yeah, that's good, that's good. I must say, this is a very, very good, uh, very good game. I really, really can't wait till they bring Big Update 3 out. I've just been uh, browsing the Steam forums before I started recording this, and uh, people are still coming up with ideas of what they would like to see in future releases and what have you so uh, I have very 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 high expectations for this game in the future I really do I think this is going to do so so well it's so improved and so different to when it was first released it really is a good game I do like games where you don't have time limits and you can do what you want at your own time, at your own pace. I really do find this very, very uh, relaxing and laid back, which is good. Right, uh Oh my god, how do I use these control oh yeah, it's that one. Do you know, trouble is, when you don't play this for like uh, a week or so, you totally tend to forget what your controls are. Like I said in the last episode, I've been a bit busy lately, so uh, I haven't been able to put as much time into this as um, as I would have liked. Okay, that just just about went in. Uh, oh, I saw one. Just give me a few minutes; it'll all come back to me. DNR, that's it. Yep. There we are. We're back on form again. So yeah, I was very, uh, very pleased to see the uh, Steam forums are still nice and active, and uh, you know, people are saying, "Oh yeah, you know, we'd like to see this, we'd like to see that." That's uh, really, really, really good. Oh, blimey. Is that acceptable? Nope. It does not like that. Come here, you. Oh, dear. I've got the car stuck. Oops. Gotcha. That's it. A little manipulation soon sorts that out. There's a junk man challenge up there, what is it? Is it this one? 
collect scrap using a baler. Oh, it's scrap. Yes, yes, of course it is. Of course. It, uh, oh, gold. Wrong button. Hang on. A tab. That's it. Ugh. I'm making a right mess of this today. Like I said, I haven't been uh, been on, on this much lately, so I... I'm still trying to remember what the buttons are. Even though it shows you in big enough l uh, letters. <laughs> hey, put it down to agents in there, Litty. Alright, get in there this time. Yeah, well, it worked. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, I hope you're absolutely fine with the idea that I have for the um, for the rest of the uh, the episodes, the rest of this series. Do it the way that I said. Collect scrap, do area, collect scrap, do area, and just keep going on that way until we get the um, until we get the personal scrap guy up and running. Now, what I'm hoping is is that. Um, with these future releases that we won't have to do any ridiculous thing like restart and we can just uh, continue because if we can it would be nice just to continue with this uh, when one series finishes and just add the other the other series onto it so that way we can just showcase new stuff Although I tell you now, if for any reason I did have to do a restart, um, I wouldn't actually be showing all this because we've already seen it, so we wouldn't need to see that all over again. It would just more of uh, be a highlight videos. Alright, that's made a little bit of money. Right, the next thing I want to do is I want to head off down to the campground because there is something in particular I am looking for actually there's two areas I want to go, that's one of them this is the motel I want to have a look up top and see if there happens to be one of those um, restoration classic cars up there uh, look at that junk man order. That was so close. Not quite there though. Now let's see if that classic car's up here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yep, yeah, there is. There we are. Lovely. Smash in. And the one I'm after right now is actually this one. This will make some very, very good, very, very quick money. Once I clear all this muck out of it. Do I want to teleport with it? Yes. Come on, sometime this century. Thank you. Aha, I do not have automatic renovation. Okay, give me a moment. Let me see if I can afford that. I should be able to. Right, automatic renovation. This allows you to strip down cars and whatnot 
without you having to take every single bit apart and it is that one right there and we have it perfect okay back up to the workshop back to the car just remember you can only do this once an hour so press R there we are instantly stripped down job done and all we have to do now is do exactly the same with these how cool is that eh? that's the way to restore a car <laughs> oops I didn't mean to drop that nice this is a great way to make about 140,000 straight off can't even see where I'm going, blimey, there we go Sorry about that, just having a little coughing fit there. I like to put the microphone on mute when I do that. Right, I think I've run out of uh, renovation time. I have, right, so I'll have to do these last two manually. This is why I saved these last two little bits uh, to the end because these are the easiest bits and the quickest bits to do. Do you know, I've got to say, it's really nice not having to sit there and have to uh, rub down the entire engine anymore. And of course, my lovely favourite sandblasting. I don't know why I take such delight in doing this, I just really, really like sandblasting. Ooh, I should do that quicker than that. I am out of practice, aren't I? God dear. Right, one more bumper to do, and we're good. And that will give us more or less the money we need to open Area C, which will be the next video because I definitely haven't got time to do this and that all at once otherwise this would run into a very very long video now I try and keep them to roughly somewhere about an hour more or less simply because not only does it take a long time to compress these down into a, a more manageable size but once you've done that then they have to be uploaded to YouTube and um, that entire process often takes longer than it does to actually make the video. Now I did actually try live streaming once but God only knows what I did wrong. It didn't come out very well and uh, yeah, this is why I don't live stream. It, um, it, it did not go well. Don't ask me what went wrong because I don't know, it just 
failed. Okay. Oh, hang on. That won't work until you clean it out, will it? Is that it? One item in the boat? Oh. There must be a lot of junk in there then. Well, there is. Okay. Let's get all this whipped out. What have I missed? That's it. Job done. Over to the computer. One car done. Fantastic. Right, you should be worth about 142,000. Sometimes if you leave them in the garage a little bit longer, they're worth a little bit more. I think I've got 156,000 out of this once. We'll see what the price is. Oh, there we are, 156. Nice. Thank you. 199,000. Beautiful. Right, let's have a look and see what copper's. Uh, how do I open this thing? One and tab. What's copper at? 135.2 for 48,000. Yeah, okay. We'll take that. 248,000. Very nice. Oops. Not the best way down. You still looking for stuff I helped you with earlier? Oh dear. She ain't very good at her job, this one. Okay. Where's the way in? There it is. Where's that car gone? A Ben E, huh? Hmm. Do you know, I'm sure I used to pick these parts up once and just left uh, left clip with a mouse on them. I don't know why uh, why this has changed. Just remember, what we're doing now is going to get us some money that we need to get Area C up and running. Beautiful. There we are, one Ben E. to go again getting deja vu here with these cars all right let's see how quick I can actually do this Like I said, I could do a lot of this off camera, but bear in mind I did say that I wanted to actually do this as a play along and play through. So, um, so far, you've seen this exactly as it is. Nothing has been done off camera. It's all been done. It's all been recorded as I've done it. So this is good. What have you missed? That tiny silly little bit really.
Lovely. Do you know, I've just had a thought. I think what would really be nice in this game, with all these old classic cars that we get, rather than having them stuck in that warehouse up top, I think it would be really, really nice if we had something like um, an auction. You know, like a big parking lot that we could put all these nice smart cars on. I think that would be really, really smashing. I mean, we put all this work into it and then all we do is we just go and press E in some dark, dingy warehouse and that's it, that's the last you see of your car. I don't know how many updates will come out in this game in the future, but I'll tell you what, every time one comes out there's always something better. trouble is when you do this too fast you get this kind of like sort of feeling of seasick after a while you know all that backwards and forwards okay what have I missed oh it's right down there aha thank you You know, for some strange reason, I absolutely cannot for the life of me remember what the flashlight key is. Which is pretty ridiculous because it was something I used to use all the time. Which one was it? Well, that's one way. There is actually a quick key somewhere to turn that on and off. Yeah, makes life a little bit better when you can actually see what you're doing, doesn't it? Sometimes there's usually enough light, depending on what the day is, to actually be able to do this without it, but um, today is not quite as bright as I was hoping it would be. Right, I think we're there. Right, it's just body work now, I think. Once this car's done, this will give us enough money completely to be able to do Area C. I'm looking forward to that. What I might do actually is after I've done this episode I might actually go straight into recording um, Area C and get that done. We'll have to see how the uh, how the day progresses and how the time gets on. But I think it would be really really nice to actually be able to get another area of the personal scrapyard done. Plus, in a kind of way, I do have to make up for um, for those two weeks not recording anything. I do have to catch up myself, really. In all fairness. This is a beauty about sandblasting, at least you can see clearly where you've been. There shouldn't be too much left of that. 
There we go. Beautiful. Right, while we're here, let's get the windows done. Like I said at the beginning of this uh, series, some episodes are going to be a little more interesting than others. But it is the nature of this game. This is just what you have to do. I was actually thinking of running around, going to find cars for the uh, for the big crusher, but that is so time consuming. This was the quickest and best way I could actually think today of um, doing this to get some much needed money together. What am I doing? So we can get the personal scrapyard up and running. I'd really like to bring that down under uh, a million left on the deck and there you see we'll do that oh yeah yeah there you see that's a particular nasty one do you remember that furnace that we have that little red bucket thing and we put little scrap metal in it and have to melt them into sheets yeah that we are going to need probably about 37 metal plates Yep, no kidding, we really are. Right, wheels. I need a little bit of light again. You know, sometimes I'm really in the mood just to sit there and run around, find these classic cars and actually, like, uh, sit here and clean them. I find this strangely relaxing. I know I keep saying that, but I really do. It's probably because it's one of the few games I've got where I don't actually feel pressured into do anything. There's no time limits, nobody else to sit there and uh, look after, like multiplayer games, you know, it's just... Uh, you really can just do your own thing, your own way, in your own time in this. It's about one of the few games, actually I think it's one of two games that I've got that actually do that. Beautiful. Okay, let's get some blasting done. Pick it up. This time I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and just get the wheels done first because they usually are the pain in the ass to do. Only because they're the hardest to see really. Perfect. Good. Alright, here we 
here we go. I think we can turn that off again. For some reason I'm used to um, flashlights in games where you actually have to hold the button down. That's why I keep flicking on and off these lights. Because in this one you only have to push it once just to turn it on and off. And I have a horrible habit of keep trying to hold the button down. Nice. Let's get the silly little bits done first and then we'll get the body done last. Then we can just quickly paint the whole thing and mission done. I do have to say that simulated games really are actually my favourite a lot of the time. Most of the time. I just like the chilled out laid back approach. Man, that was fast. Ugh, I seem to have found me mojo at last towards the end of the episode, but yeah. Very good. Looking good. Uh, oh yeah. I forgot I have to do the bumpers as well, don't I? I have to do the front and rear bumper, which is what we call it in the UK, fenders, if you're American. But over here, we call them bumpers. Is that done? No, nope, not quite. What have I missed? Oh, there we go. I missed the back one now, didn't I? I did. Right, I think that's just the bodywork left. Yep. Okay, let's do that. Whoops. Ah, there's squat. I knew there was a squat somewhere.
That's looking better. Oh, blimey, my coffee's getting cold again. So I'm trying to do this and drink coffee at the same time. <laughs> As you do. Perfect. Alright. Uh, spray job. As I finish doing the body, I might as well do that one first. Oh, it's making me feel a little dizzy doing this this fast. <laughs> So it's not always quite easy to see where you're going. Depends on the light levels. All we need now is a perk to auto spray this <coughs> Rebellia. Yes. Perfect. Right, okay, let's finish off. We're doing the little bits. Is that one done? Yep, that's done. Okay. Almost there. Shouldn't take much longer now, we're nearly done. I think that's more or less about now with video in total. Managed to crush four cars and do one of these. Oh no no, we did two, didn't we? We did one of the uh, we did one of the blue ones as well. I think we've done actually rather well in this episode actually. Like I said at the beginning, I w I've got a lot I wanted to do in this episode, and there we are. We've actually almost done it. This is good. That's a sloppy paint job by me. What's going on? Come on. Get it together. There you go. Watch what you're doing. Cool. 
for call yourself a professional junk man, I don't know. More like amateur hour. Yeah, Now we're cooking. Yes, that's more like it. So we've got four cars crushed and two cars done. Oh, I'm happy with that. Oh, I think that was a good episode, that one. Even if it is time consuming to do this, it's still fun. What's going on? You know, I don't know if it's me or whether it's a game, but sometimes when you press E to select a part that needs painting or something, the E doesn't always respond the first time. But then again, I do have a habit of trying to do things really fast in this game, so I'm wondering if it's me actually going faster than what the key presses can deal with. That wouldn't surprise me. Another thing I was saying about the trouble is when you, when you do recordings and you have to compact them and then you have to get them ready to post to YouTube, you can't really play much of anything else in the background. Because the compression takes so much, it's, um, it causes a lot of lag. So the best time to do this is when you know you're going to be AFK from the computer for a while, so you can just get on with it in the background. So a lot of the time the chances are these videos go up about yeah, probably somewhere around about three hours or so after I've um, after I've made it. By the time it all gets up to YouTube. And there we go. We are done. Pressed E on the car. No, oh, hang on in the car lift not there uh, go to the hangar I've done it again I've got to stop pressing that escape key sorry guys makes a right messy uh, messy episode when I do that right we're going to have a look at the car we're going to sell it and that will be that. We'll see how much money we've got. We've got 248,000 at the moment. Have I gone the wrong way? Yes. Where's the way out? There it is. Uh, 248,000 so this should give us about more or less 350,000 and that will be enough to do Area C. It would be nice if there was a little teleport to the uh, the car storage area here because currently there isn't one all right now where's this there it is oh blimey I've got two cars in here what oh bugger me oh well sell that why didn't anyone tell me that was in here Oh well, look at that, 448,000. Well, cannot argue with that. We are now ready for Area C. And no, I'm not going to do that right now, because even I can't do that that fast. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, sorry about the two um, escape key things. Like I said, sometimes, because uh, I do so much, sometimes I have to remember where the keys are. But thank you for joining me. Again, thank you for the comments and the subscriptions. And I hope to see you in the next one when I do Area C. So you take care and bye for now.